We're focusing on a Japanese-American sports tradition dating back more than eight decades. Yeah, it's been a part of one East Bay family for three generations. Sharon Shin looks at how they hope to continue it for years to come. For Stephen Morioka, basketball is about more than keeping score. When I was growing up, that was just the thing to do. That was the social thing to do. The sport, part of his family's DNA for three generations. All my friends played basketball. We all hung out together. We, we carried a basketball with us wherever we went. Stephen is the president of Berkeley Otani Basketball, a recreational program his father, Tom Orioka, says has brought Japanese American families together since the 1930s. Basketball was a part of life. Japanese Americans even passed the time shooting hoops behind barbed wire in World War II internment camps. And after the war, Berkeley Otani played a key role bringing culture and stability to families resettling in neighborhoods. They were isolated, and so they had to use their relationships with the people that they knew and grew up with, and that had common issues, and that's how the community maintained itself. 80-year-old Tom joined the boys' team as a 10th grader in 1957. Many of the groups centered around churches, like Berkeley Otani's sponsor, the Berkeley Higashi Honganji Buddhist Temple. It was like a, uh, a sense of belonging and a sense of community. Like his father, Stephen also built lifelong connections in Berkeley Otani. Those are friendships that exist today. But Japanese American basketball leagues have shrunk since the 1970s when Northern California had a few hundred teams. More families moved to the suburbs, church attendance dwindled, and more kids, especially young girls, chose other sports. Then COVID cleared the courts. When the pandemic hit, all that stuff just got wiped out. While some groups never came back, Berkeley Otani is up and running again with 12 teams. And Stephen's teenage son, Owen, returned to coach the program that's taught him leadership and sportsmanship. It's really exciting. It's giving me a lot more like fun, uh, a lot more joy. Yet something is still missing. Participation, as far as players go, is about the same right now. But the sense of community is still a little bit, um, a little bit behind. Stephen says it needs more volunteer board members to lead the program's front office and a return to large gatherings like rice cake making events and tournaments that build community. Berkeley Otani's bounce back will drive its move forward. You know, it's going to have to go through some changes, but I think it will be around. I want it to continue. I would definitely have my kids play basketball. The Morioka family wants to give future generations a shot at the tradition that shaped its past. Wow. And over the decades, some Japanese American basketball programs have dropped eligibility requirements that include temple attendance and our ancestry. And Ryan, we can't move on yeah. without mentioning <laughs> that you used to play for Otani basketball. Yeah. Can we look at those pictures, please? Oh, yeah, there I am. That's number that's, 22. That's me, number 22. Uh, Andrew Wiggins stole his number from me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I used I played there. That was my teenage years. I, I played in junior high. Look at you. I played oh. in high school. I, I thought I was tough there. I was you were tough. Very tough. Yeah. You, you noticed the short shorts too. Right? I that was yeah. the first thing I noticed. Like, yeah. wow. That's, yeah, there you go. That's look, a lot of legs. Look at those legs, though. <laughs> they're they're kind of go. fit. A little bit. Anyway, <laughs> I was not very good. Uh, I was, but you look good, I, and I that's was, all that matters. Well, we've had this conversation before. I was like the bruiser. I was the, the Bill Lambier oh. of the, oh. the Asian leagues. I bet you were scrappy. I, well, I was very I scrappy. Bet you were, I bet you could I, be tough. I fouled out a lot. That doesn't surprise me one bit, yeah. actually. <laughs> <laughs> it probably worked to your benefit. Probably. I just wanted to sit down. <laughs> Well, but it is part of my there. childhood, and so that was a that was a wonderful story. Oh, so. fantastic! And I love those pictures. 